Good morning, YouTubers. This is Engineer Pat 5290 along the CSX Portsmouth sub, and we have ourselves the outbound F767 with my friend Justin. What's going on, How guys? How you doing? And I got a couple of the rail fanners back there. Say hi, <laughs> And right now we actually passed this train, and it's actually an SD70 ACE today. CSX only ordered 18 of these SD70 ACEs for their roster. Do not ask me why, but seems like they're not a huge EMD fan. They're more of a GE purchasing company. But it's a very rare opportunity to see one of these. It's in YN3. Both units are in YN3, by the way. Now, Pat, why... Um, Please ask questions. Yeah, Pat, why are these uh, particular trains so rare to see? It's just because of the amount that they bought. Like, they bought 18 of these ACEs. It is very extremely rare to see one of these. Like on Norfolk Southern, you see those all the time. Because they bought over a hundred of those units, and they love them. They bought the SD70 M-2, which is the locomotive that looks similar to the ACE. And once again, they bought over a hundred of those units, and they love them. And here she comes! The SD70 ACE! This has 4,000 horsepower. With 4,000 horsepower from the GE, that's 8,000 horses you're hearing right now. I'm going to let you listen to the prime mover of this SD70. Woo! Come on, Justin, you can't wait. This is the EMD bell you are listening to. Yeah, he's got me! He's got me! He's got me! He doesn't have his ditch lights on. CSX F767, you might want to be flashing your ditch lights. I don't know. Listen to that. Nice K5 LA. Yo, yo. This is my job right here. Job with Norfolk Southern eventually. But I love seeing this power. He's got you right there. Yeah, baby. Woo. 4840! Thanks, buddy! Have a good show! SD70 Steve 4840 and EOS 448792! Yeah! What's the joint throttle? Yeah! Throttle up! Now, Pat, what are the, uh, what are they hauling here? What do we have? Units. Hear the bell? To answer your question, Mr. Carr, in here you're, you're seeing a lot of different materials. They will haul hazardous materials. They will also haul general merchandise as well. I'll tell you a little bit about these cars, too. This train obviously came out of Portsmouth. This is actually your first time of seeing this train come out. The engineer didn't know that I have a Norfolk Southern case on my phone. <laughs> but usually they don't mind. They don't care. No. There's a new wheel right there. That one just came out of the shop. Merce Sealy, wow. based in the US. Wow. BNSF Swoosh Scheme. Heritage Ski came out in 1996, and the Swoosh Ski came out in 2007. MSC, Mediterranean Shipping, based in Asia. And here come the final containers. p and They're based in England. They merged with Neloid to create p and Neloid. They're based in England. Interpol is based in California. And CAI, California Intermodal, based in California. And now the rest of this train will be all bare tables. Just giving you a heads up on this.
nice graffiti there. There's the heritage scheme scheme right there for you, Justin. You see it? Yeah. They modeled that after the Santa Fe scheme. Because Santa Fe was a pre seater railroad. Then I just put Burlington Northern on the side of it. There's some nice graffiti right there. Take a shot of that. Boom. Here comes some more swear scheme as well. Burlington Northern Santa Fe. They merged, Santa Fe and BN merged it on September 22nd, 1995 to create BNSF. That's a seat, that's a Florida East Coast car right there. Based in Florida. It's basically like the Commonwealth, but it's a lot larger company. They sold off some of their SD70 M-2s they traded them for some brand new ES44 ACs and, one, and their heritage logo. And they got a lot of those in service right now. CSX had an order for them recently on the ES44, I think AH. Now with like the 3000 series, they're called the AC-H. AC hybrid is what that means. They canceled the order, then all of a sudden CSX said, let's go ahead and take them. So GE's got some of those that they're building right now. NS has got probably some more on the way. There's more Heritage logos. And this train will proceed to Waycross, Georgia for its final destination. That wheel sounded kind of bad. Yeah. Now these cars up here, Fred, Hey Fred, look at these cars up here. These are different style container cars. This train's about ready to speed up. Yeah. All right? These cars up here have Sealand tags on them. CSX bought these cars. I don't know the reason why, but CSX acquired those recently. Yep, there they are, Sealand. They're, they changed their name to Horizon Lines. These are twin stacks. They got these big arms that hold the containers in place, especially when they're stacked up. And here he comes. He's getting ready to speed up. This train's probably, probably clocking about 35 miles an hour. The last car has come off the CWRY. Man, he is running right on EMD. Woo! You guys can scream if you want. Woo! Woo! Go, 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 go! Gutsy shot right there. I got an underneath shot of the cars. Here comes some more of those big cars. And here comes the end of this train. That one needs to go to the shop. And here come the final beer tables. Man, just look at that guy go. An SD70 ACE and an ES44AH as they lead the outbound F767. What'd you think, Justin? Awesome as always. Brayden, 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 what do you guys think? We liked it. It was awesome. That's good. He actually he waved to us right about here. He waved to us and gave us a few nice horn blasts. But anyway, there goes the train of the day.